Finian here at Kraken Campers. We're just making a quick demonstration video to introduce one of the newest vehicles to our fleet. This is a Sunlight A72 six berth motorhome and we're just going to have a quick walk around now show some of its main features. So as with all of our Sunlight motorhomes it just has two keys, an ignition key which does the cab area and the diesel filler and the second key does pretty much everything else. So as we make our way down along the side here the first point of interest is our gas locker here. Again, two keys. This key opens all of the habitation exterior doors. So all of our sunlight vehicles are fitted with the same type of egg-shaped door lock mechanism. It's very simple to use. Enter the key into the lock, twist it and the mechanism pops out. You can turn the key back into the open position and then to open the locker itself, rotate 180 degrees both of the door locks and it lifts up out of the way. Next is our fresh water tank. So again, habitation key, twist and open. This fresh water tank can be filled at any campsite or any service station along your journey. It holds approximately 130 litres, which should be enough water for several days. Next we have the rear storage compartment where our water filler hose and our electrical hookup lead are stored. Mains hookup lead, water filler hose. Also another interesting feature of the Sunlight series is the adjustable rear bed. So this is the rear bottom bunk. Simply pull here. This can be moved up out of the way to double the rear storage compartment size. Here we have our four bike bike rack. As always, we recommend you bring your own bungee cords or straps to help secure your bikes. To empty the toilet, simply press the two buttons, lift up the door, and as it is a standard cassette toilet, you just need to lift the yellow handle and remove the cassette. The cassette can be emptied on a campsite. To empty the cassette, simply twist, open the lid, pour it out. When finished, please put a tablet or detergent back into the unit, twist back on the lid, and slide it back into the position, like so. Here we have our mains hookup point. Simply lift the lid and connect the lead. It only fits one way as there are male and female end. When in, not in use, please close the door. Up here beside the passenger door, we have our diesel filler. Simply open the door and use the key to open the diesel filler cap. And now we'll have a quick look inside the vehicle. Our first port of call is the main control panel. This is located above the main entrance door. It has a number of very simple controls. The first one is the power on and off. I would leave this on while you're using the facilities in the rear of the van. Above this is an LED indicator to show that you're plugged in to mains electricity on site. The other three buttons, the first one is for your 12 volt battery life. The second one is your fresh water level. And the third one is your waste water level. Next, at the rear, we have our twin bunks. So these are full-size single beds with the ladder. The ladder attaches here. This rear bunk will lift up to extend the rear storage area size. Also a privacy curtain. So this is our toilet and shower area. The power switch for the lights is located here on the wash hand basin. One of the most unique features of the Sunlight A72 is the movable wall in the shower. This converts the toilet area into a full-size shower area. Simply push the button on the wall and rotate it around to the right-hand side, giving a full-size shower. As with all of our Sunlight motorhomes, it comes equipped with a three-way fridge. So the fridge will operate on mains if you're plugged in on a site. It'll operate on gas provided the gas is switched on in the gas locker outside, or it'll operate on 12 volt, only while the engine of the vehicle is running. These fridges are automatic, so once you hold the power button, you will have the option, A, to leave the fridge in automatic, which should try to light the fridge on whatever power source is available. To change power source, simply press the first square, 
which will rotate the power sources from left to right. Gas, automatic, mains, 12 volt. Next we have our kitchen area. Our sink is located underneath this glass panel with a standard mixer tap on and off. Next we have our gas hob. So this has three rings on it. It's a manual ignition system so simply twist and ignite with the lighter provided. Here we have our cutlery drawer which will be supplied with six utensils, six of each of the utensils. This is our kitchen storage area, which has a bin, pots, pans, and other accessories. Here we have our gas wired oven. Our oven has an oven and grill contained within it. Twist and use the electronic igniter. Plates and bowls are located above the kitchen area. The main light switch is located here. The heating system in the A72 is located on this wall. We have two options. We have an electric heating system and we have gas fired heating system. The gas fired heating system has two operations. The outside toggle will select 60 and 40 degrees for the water temperature, just for the water in the sink area and the shower. The next setting is for the central heating, which is the flame symbol displayed below. When you have the flame symbol selected, the outside toggle will set your general temperature. The options are one to five, with five being the hottest. When you're not using the heating system, leave it at zero, which is off. Here we have the electrical heating system. This will only operate when you are plugged in to mains electricity on a site. Again, very simple to operate. Select one or two. This will dictate the heat that will be put out inside the van. In the A72, we have a lovely open plan, double dinette seating area in the center of the vehicle. On either side, we have overhead lockers, which offer vast storage. We also have two large windows with black outlines. Come nightfall in the A72, the larger of the two dinettes will convert into a bed. To do this is quite simple. First step is to lift the table up to approximately 45 degrees and remove it from its hanger. Rotate the table and press the button on the leg to bend it in out of the way. Next step is to lift up the two base cushions. Next, we will locate the table. Again, lifting up to approximately 45 degrees. Gently lower into position. To complete the bed, we will need to drop the triangle shaped cushions. So to do this, we remove the seat belts, one and two, lower this cushion down, and we will do the same on this side. The gap in the center, please use the extra cushion provided. And now we have our bed completed. In the cab area of the A72, our Fiat Ducato comes with a comfort pack, which provides us with twin captain seats, cruise control, six-speed manual gearbox, and air conditioning. We also have an inbuilt USB and a 12 volt charging connection. So that concludes our tour of the A72 motorhome. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to give us a call. Thanks for watching.